Hello everybody, this is my man, L2000 um, lorry, 7.5 tonne. Um, it was a removals lorry that we've converted into a tiny home. There's the number plate, so you can check out the MOT if you wish. Uh, MOT is, I think, beginning of September, early August. So, uh, let's have a walk around. Got some uh, spotlight there to help you get into the car or get in through the door. Solar. Um, tires are all good. Um, tires are all very good. I think three I replaced myself and the others were good when I brought the car. Um, 240 hookup. We've got a four and a half meter awning that comes out it's in relatively good nick you could probably do with a clean and uh twin wheel at the back lights all work no dents no bangs um last owner painted it but they didn't prime it so the paint's a bit flaky um, but it is a nice blank canvas for you to do what you want with it and uh, got a solar panel, a solar light above the door, so you can, uh, that's on, like I said, solar, so it's not running off the battery at all. Got some steps that come with it, special grab rail, I've doubled up on the locks at the back, and it's got a lock on the door as well. Security people, everyone loves the security people. So uh, let's go in, straight in on the right hand side, you've got a shower and a cassette toilet, I'm a biggish lad and uh, there's room for me in this so I decided to go for a shower which had a nice size because I don't like being cramped and uh, the lorry would start at this level here but I brought the whole level up so there's storage under the entire length of the lorry so on the right hand side here you've got your gas boiler and this is a vented boiler so you've got the vent going out the roof so it can stay in a lot of boilers have to be vented in an outside cupboard, but this one can stay inside. Then we've got a massive chest freezer. This can work as two fridges, or you can have a fridge and a freezer, but uh, the size of this is massive. And uh, I really went for a decent size because uh, like I said, we were gonna be living in it. So, up here is the water tank and the stopcock and the 12 volt battery, a uh, 12 volt pump. Um, you can see the insulation there. The whole van's insulated with that. And uh, easy to clean, easy to get to. You've also got a hose fixing that you can plug into any outside tap. And uh, there's touch lights all through the lorry. Got a curtain here that sections off the entrance from the exit. Makes it a little bit more cosier. So now we're on in the inside of the lorry. We've got a nice size kitchen, taps. Look at that worktop, nice worktop there. And uh, we've got cupboards underneath this, in this cupboard, um, there's that tank for a diesel heater, there's a diesel heater under the step, that takes the edge off, which is quite nice, and that diesel heat is on a remote control as well, so you don't have to leave bed. Up here we've got a fitted kitchen. 
Um, I've battened it into the wall, so there's no movement whatsoever. You've got a fire jacket there, fire blanket. We've got more cupboards. More cupboards. And above here, we've got a microwave. Massive microwave. Um, we've got an inverter, which I'll show you. And the inverter and the battery pack will run this microwave. Um, when I'm on the road, I like to use microwave meals just because it's easy. And um, I made sure that the inverter could take the microwave. We got a um, ventilation there for the oven. And if we move you'll see a full size oven there, brand new, never been used. It's got all the bits and pieces in there. Even got the packaging. We've got 240 all round that runs the inverter, runs off the inverter. And uh, I'm gonna show you this cupboard. This cupboard's a bit snazzy. Pull the cupboard out and it pulls the shelving round from around the corner, which is quite nice. Nice cupboards, nice drawers as well. Soft closing. Everybody loves a bit of soft clo closing. Then you've got the bunk beds. A um, little bit of finishing off needs to be done. Um, you could probably tile it. I haven't bothered tiling it because everybody's taste is different. What I might like, you might not. So in order to keep the price down, um, I haven't finished it. Uh, I may do. Um, but I probably will tidy it up before we sell it. Okay. Um, this is a nice area for a bunk bed. There's no space. You know, we've not crammed the space in. We've left it nice and open. And um, nice window there. Under here. This is my favourite bunk bed nice snug you've got a nice space under there you can probably sit up you can sit up in that and um, it's decent under the mattress we've got a space under there as well that goes all the way down to the bottom of the lorry and uh, got a full-size larder fridge in there And uh, it's quite nice. We've got touch lights throughout. Touch lights throughout. And um, on the right hand side here, we've got a nice size wardrobe. What I was looking at doing is having this wardrobe um, as a day wardrobe, and then any clothes that I don't wear often. I was going to put under the floor. Got a nice table there that comes out. We go through to our seated area. Again, storage lockers above the living room area. We've got storage there. I'll we'll take a step back so you can see this. It's quite nice. You could probably, what I had planned out, marked out, was to put some windows in here to bring in some light. And um, that was on the list. I'd probably put a new window in here as well. And one over, just so they all match. And they're all nice and warm. So let's go through. Here you've got the control panel for all the lights and for everything there here 
you've got solar panel solar here there's a solar panel 100 watt up, up start up the top for the starter battery and you've got 200 watts here for the 300 amp hour leisure batteries so you've got 100 there for your solar the trickle charges so you won't ever the battery won't ever go and then you've got 200 watts here for um the day running it's a bit murky at the moment outside but we've still got 13.4 on the battery so that i've just put on by um magnets under here we've got all of our batteries we've got all of our batteries under there um, I don't know if you can see it let me try and turn the torch on I can't do it whilst I'm videoing I don't think so but yeah that's where all your batteries are like I said, under here, you've got under storage, underfloor storage, all the way through. You've got plenty of 2 volt, 40 volts. Up here, we've got the bed above the cab. We've curtained it off. Uh, this is lovely and warm. It's lovely and warm. It's lovely and dry. Um, when we were in between houses, we... Uh, we was using this as a bedroom and a living space which was really nice and um here got the vent got the electric vent this is awesome in the summer but how powerful this isn't one of the expensive ones it's only a fairly cheapish one uh, i say cheap i think it was about 175 quid um, but when you power this up this is a really um, and awesome uh, brings a lot of fresh air into it I also brought the the van the blind on top to um, when it's night time because I like it to be nice and dark when I sleep I haven't finished that because um, I don't know what what carpet or whether you was going to tile it or you know if I was keeping this vehicle I would probably carpet it um but it's a nice space very nice space and uh you've got some you've got some lights there as well a bit of mood lighting everybody likes a bit of mood night lighting in the evening and uh let's take you through so we got running water running water and uh, that's where your, your hot water comes from. Fairly simple. You've got the wind out for the awning there and you've got the extra arm for the awning. And in here, a nice powerful shower. Very powerful actually, I was quite impressed with that. I've, uh, I have taken a shower from it and uh, it worked lovely. So, just walk you up the side. Again, nice and straight. Tires are decent. There's no dents. There's no wax. I've got a security for the petrol. I've got battery isolator. So, it keeps everything nice and uh, isolated the engine is isolated uh, what I would add is uh, a relay from the starter battery to the leisure batteries that's a simple enough job I think you can buy that relay for the wire and the relay for about 25 quid which is decent and then that means when you're on the road you can actually be charging up your leisure batteries so it's nice decent wagon 
it would suit a family of four you could put a family of four in it um, we've moved now we've moved into a house and I've got my eyes set on a different project so we're gonna try uh, we're gonna put this on to a newer owner it's um it's all solid underneath um, it's done 200,000 miles which is absolutely nothing for this uh, vehicle because it's a, it is a man it's a German manufacturer they're probably one of the best out there um, and it was a removals van removals lorry before so their miles are all just motorway miles um, it is limited to 55 miles an hour so you're not going to be breaking any speed limits not that you'd want to be breaking any speed limits seeing as you're carrying your house um, so it's a uh, I'll do another video and uh, of me starting it So here we are. Start up, up absolutely fine. We had the brakes overhauled at the last MOT. Um, that came up, it needed doing, so I had that done. And um, it's a decent, decent, decent lorry. Um, like I said I did it up for me and my family to live in um, I didn't do it up to sell I didn't cut corners I've done everything decent so it's um, yeah if you have any, for inf any more information just message me and I'll be happy to uh, talk to you okay Cheers.